Do you think you know everything about President Putin? Putin is one of the most powerful and controversial leaders in the world. He's been in power for over 20 years, and he's known for his iron fist rule. But there's more to Putin than meets the eye. So if you're interested in learning more about one of the most powerful people in the world, be sure to watch this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Number 10, he is a controversial figure outside of Russia. Putin is seen as a controversial figure because of his authoritarian style of leadership and his nostalgia for the Soviet Union. He has rolled back many of the democratic reforms that were enacted after the collapse of the Soviet Union, and he has made it clear that he sees Russia as a great power that should be respected and feared. Putin supporters argue that he is a strong and decisive leader who has restored Russia's status as a great power. They also say that he is protecting Russia from Western interference and that he is acting in the country's best interests. Putin has been accused of cracking down on dissent, imprisoning political opponents, and using torture and extrajudicial killings. In 2020, the Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny was poisoned with a nerve agent, and many believe that Putin was behind the attack. In 2014, Russia annexed the Crimean Peninsula from Ukraine. This conflict has resulted in thousands of deaths and displaced millions of people. Putin has been accused of interfering in elections in the United States, France, and other countries. Number 9. Putin is a popular figure in Russia. One of the main reasons for Putin's popularity is that he is seen as having restored Russia's economic stability and national pride after the chaos of the 1990s. When Putin came to power in 2000, Russia was still recovering from the collapse of the Soviet Union and its economy was in shambles. Putin oversaw a period of strong economic growth, which led to a rise in living standards for many Russians. He also cracked down on corruption and crime, which made many Russians feel safer. Another reason for Putin's popularity is the state-controlled media. The vast majority of Russian media outlets are controlled by the government and they portray Putin in a positive light. They promote the official narrative of Putin's presidency and they downplay or ignore any negative news about him. This helps to create a positive image of Putin in the minds of many Russians. Number 8. President Putin is one of the most powerful people in the world. Russia has a nuclear arsenal that is second only to the United States, and it is a major player in the global economy. Putin has used Russia's power and influence to advance his interests and to challenge the West. Putin is a skilled and ruthless politician. He is a master of deception and manipulation, and he is willing to do whatever it takes to achieve his goals. He has shown that he is not afraid to use violence or intimidation to get his way. Number 7. Vladimir Putin is a very private person. He rarely talks about his personal life or his family, and he is careful to protect his privacy. He avoids making public appearances with his wife and children, and he does not allow the media to access his private homes. There are several reasons why Putin may be so private. One reason is that he may be concerned about his safety. As the president of Russia, Putin is a high-profile target, and he may be worried about assassination attempts. Additionally, he may be concerned about the safety of his family. Another reason for Putin's privacy may be that he wants to maintain an image of strength and power. He may believe that by keeping his personal life private, he can project an image of mystery and intrigue. This can make him seem more intimidating and less vulnerable to his opponents. Number 6. President Putin is a very big fan of ice hockey. He has played the sport since he was a child and continues to play regularly today. He is also a patron of ice hockey and has helped to promote the sport in Russia. Putin's love for ice hockey began when he was a child growing up in Leningrad. He started playing the sport at the age of six and quickly developed a passion for it. He played for several youth teams and eventually made the Moscow youth team. After Putin became president of Russia in 2000, he made ice hockey a priority. He helped to found the Continental Hockey League, Russia's top professional ice hockey league. He also built several new hockey arenas in Russia. Number 5. Putin is a well-known dog lover. He has owned several dogs over the years, and his love for canines is evident in his public appearances and interviews. One of Putin's most famous dogs is Kony, a black Labrador retriever. Kony was given to Putin as a gift in 2000, and the two have been inseparable ever since. Kony is often seen accompanying Putin on his travels, and she has even made appearances at official events. Putin's love for dogs is not just limited to his pets. He is also a supporter of animal welfare and has spoken out against the mistreatment of dogs. In 2013, Putin signed a law that banned the cruel treatment of animals in Russia. Number 4. 
President Putin is a voracious reader. He is said to read a book a day, and he has a wide range of interests, including history, politics, philosophy, and literature. Putin's love of reading began when he was a child. He grew up in a poor family in Leningrad, but his parents made sure that he had access to books. Putin's mother would often take him to the library, and he would spend hours reading books on a variety of topics. As Putin grew older, his love of reading continued. He would often read books while traveling or during his downtime. Putin has said that reading helps him to relax and to learn new things. Putin's reading habits have had a significant impact on his life and career. His knowledge of history and politics has helped him to become a successful leader. Putin's love of literature has also helped him to develop his communication skills and his ability to connect with people. Number 3, President Putin is a fluent German speaker. He speaks German fluently due to his training and work in the Komitet Gossedarst Benoi Bezepasnosti. He was stationed in East Germany from 1985 to 1990, where he worked as a translator and intelligence officer. During this time, he became fluent in German, both spoken and written. Putin's fluency in German has been evident on numerous occasions. He has given speeches in German, both in Russia and in Germany. He has also met with German leaders in German, without the need for an interpreter. In addition to his fluency in German, Putin also has a good understanding of German culture and history. He has spoken about his admiration for German poets and philosophers, and he has visited many of Germany's historic sites. Putin's fluency in German has been a valuable asset to him throughout his career. It has allowed him to communicate directly with German leaders and build relationships with them. It has also given him a deeper understanding of German culture and history, which has helped him to navigate the complex relationship between Russia and Germany. Number 2, President Putin a black belt in Judo. He began practicing Judo in 1969 when he was 12 years old. He trained at the Leningrad Palace of Pioneers, where he was coached by Anatoly Raklin, a former Soviet Judo champion. Putin quickly excelled in Judo. He won his first regional championship in 1973, and his first national championship in 1976. He went on to win numerous other competitions, including the Leningrad Sambo Championship in 1979 and the USSR Judo Championship in 1981. In 1983, Putin was awarded the title of Master of Sport of the Soviet Union in Judo. This is the highest title that can be awarded to a judoka in Russia. Putin retired from competitive judo in 1983, but he continued to train and practice the sport. He is also a keen promoter of judo and has helped to popularize the sport in Russia. Putin's judo training has had a significant impact on his life and personality. Judo is a martial art that teaches discipline, respect, and self-control. These are all qualities that Putin values and that he has demonstrated in his career as a politician. Number 1. President Putin is a trained Komitet Gossedarstvenoi Bezepasnosti, KGB, officer. Vladimir Putin is a trained Komitet Gossedarstvenoi Bezepasnosti officer, which means that he was a member of the Soviet Union's Committee for State Security. The KGB was responsible for intelligence gathering, counterintelligence, and secret police work. Putin joined the KGB in 1975 and served in East Germany and the Soviet Union. He rose through the ranks of the KGB and eventually became a deputy director. Putin's training in the Komitet Gossedarst Venoi Bezepasnosti gave him several skills that have served him well in his career as a politician. He learned how to gather intelligence, build relationships with foreign leaders, and identify and neutralize threats. He also developed a deep understanding of the Soviet Union's political system and how power is exercised. Putin's Komitet Gossedarst Venoi Bezepasnosti experience has also shaped his worldview. He has said that he believes that the Soviet Union was a strong country and that he wants to restore Russia to its former glory. He is also wary of the West and sees it as a threat to Russia's security. And there you have it, the 10 things you ignored about President Putin. If you found this video informative, please don't forget to show us love by hitting the notification bell and subscribing to our channel, so you never miss our trending updates.